foyer de charité Choto na Mugongo Uganda The ideal church difference after the Pentecost experience the early Christians formed themselves together and we hear that filled with the Holy Spirit and convinced of the presence of the risen Christ who was now above everything else who had won over evil and sin and over every negativity the Lord had become victorious and we who follow him have now become victorious so when they were filled with the Holy Spirit and convinced of the presence of the risen Christ the first Christians early Christians were together often you to gather together the power of togetherness and had everything in common each one shared their gifts material spiritual physical moral whatever gifts they had they put it in common so that they can these gifts can multiply so that these gifts can be also shared with others who did not have because we know very well that whatever gifts we have, whatever talents we have, if we put it in action as they did, they put everything in common. If we put whatever gifts we have, it multiplies and does good to us and does good to those around us. This was the wisdom of the early Christians who knew that they are now alone without the physical presence of the Lord. But they remembered that legacy, that heart of love which the Lord had infused in them, even that spirit which strengthened them, that made them one family, one community. And they gathered together and shared everything in common. So do we share everything in common in families? Do we share everything in common in communities? Here we see that they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching. They used to learn together, recording what the apostles who had been with Jesus were doing. And as they were recording all these moments of what the apostles were doing, they actually, that was one way of sharing the word of God because they were able to recall what God had done for them and through them. They, good, they would recall how Jesus was with them, going around, doing good, speaking good news, doing good news, healing the brokenhearted, being close to the poor, and trying to do every form of good. So the early Christians recalled all the beautiful moments. Dear friends, do you recall the beautiful moments that the Lord does to you? Eh? Do you take it to your heart? Is it what motivates you and me to move on in life? Those good things that have taken place in our lives are those that strengthen us. And so uh, they, they also gather together in fellowship, in communion, in oneness with each other. They were with one mind and one heart and one life. They were living together as brothers and sisters and as friends, as fathers and as mothers. And they were breaking the bread together. The Eucharist, recording what Jesus had already said and done when he took the bread and says, this is my body. And when he took the wine and he says, this is my blood. And when he shed everything uh, with his own body at Calvary and finished and completed his mission at Calvary. And he said, it is accomplished. And he breathed on the whole church, on the Holy Spirit. Then he finished his mission, and we see at Calvary, he poured his blood. He fulfilled his promise of giving life so that you and me can have life. So that sin has no power over us. At Calvary, he shed his blood. So they used to gather together to listen to the word of God, the early Christians, and to break the bread together so that they are all in communion they receive communion and they are in communion do we also gather together and break the bread together and listen to the word of god together we get this inspiration dear friends from the acts of the apostle chapter 2 verses 41 to 47 and this is one of the beautiful gifts that can happen to our communities wherever we are in the world and to our families wherever we are in the world that we get strength from the word of god and we get strength from the communion the blood the body and blood of our lord jesus christ which is spirit which is life may almighty god bless you as we receive and enjoy these showers of blessings here in the choto, which means fire may your heart 
be on fire as you spread the good news. May your heart be on fire as you become communion for others and as you become body and blood of Christ for others. May your heart be on fire as you become the living presence of our Lord Jesus Christ. And as you become all this, together with the showers that are coming from above, may Almighty God bless you, bless your intentions, bless the good intention of your heart, and grant you good health of body and mind and soul in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.